name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to make realistic hair in Illustrator. <clears throat> so what I've done here is I've already drawn um, my person that has hair, um, because I'm going to basically show you what makes hair look more realistic um, than, say, it looks right now. So um, the first thing you're going to want to do is just make a fake light source, just to remind yourself, so you can go and use the uh, line tool if you want. And just draw like a line that'll indicate where your light is. And actually, make sure most of this is on a separate layer. Um, the highlights I'm going to add on a, on a whole different layer, simply because it'll just make this a little bit easier to mess around with. So I'm going to uh, use this tool right here which is the eyedropper tool, and it's going to select the color that I've picked, and I'm just going to pick a highlight color based on this color. So I'll use that. And I've, I'm going to use the paintbrush tool. And the reason I'm using the paintbrush tool is because there's a little bit more flexibility um, to make you know, your, your light, lighted hair. So, and then I'm going to go over to the brush tool, and I'm going to select a different brush. And actually, I'm going to go to Artistic and um, Ink. And this gives me several options. But down here, it's got the tapered stroke, which will just kind of give more of a, a natural look to these highlights. So what I'm going to do now is just make sure your color. OK. so. Fake light source. All right, so what I'm going to first start doing is just drawing some basic lines because hair is stringy and you're going to want that stringy look for realistic hair. And the cool thing about this particular um, method in Photoshop is later on, if you decide you don't really like how the strokes are, um, you can go back, select them, and decide to change them if you want. So I'm just going to keep drawing these strokes. And this is really what you're going to want to do, just like continue doing it over and over and over until it, you know, it, look, it looks realistic enough for you. Um, so, and what I'm actually doing is, <clears throat> if you can see down here, there are points that I've made that'll just indicate where the hair is separating. So I'm just going to try and connect that point. And I haven't done it on everyone because some of them don't really need, you don't really need the uh, stroke there. And so wherever the light source is, you're going to want to make less of the light color on the opposite side of where it is. Um, and I'll just do another little line right there. And as you can see, it's a. Uh, it can be a little tricky to to connect the line and the the, the stroke and the uh, and the little crevice that I'm trying to connect it to. All right. So now now that we've got that, this is your your light, and then you're going to want your dark. So I'm going to use the selection tool and just select the screen so that none of my strokes are selected. And then you can use the eyedropper tool again and select your hair color. And we're going to use a dark color now just to indicate where the shadows go. And I'll switch those. And then it, just so, something that you're going to want to take note of is that this can, uh, the color palette can get a little iffy. Um, so you're just going to want to make sure that your fill is empty and your stroke is what has the color and not the other way around. Because it'll turn out to be a blobby mess and that's no fun. So I'm going to go in here and just where the light is, we're gonna just we're gonna do some strokes on the opposite side. And just try if you can to connect them to these little crevices. And it can get a little bit tricky. And so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw this on the edge. And just do another one. And then just add a strip there. And see, this, this can be a problem too, is your line might be too thick. So you can always go up to the stroke and select a thinner line. So I'm going to select 
I'm actually going to make it smaller. Yeah, that's a lot better. And then we're going to just continue doing that. And you can you can make a couple inside of where your strokes are already, like your light strokes. Um, if you want to get some depth in there. And what I've actually done here is I've um, made a little bit of a squiggly line or a jagged line just to portray where the hair would be um, kind of pinching together. So I'm actually going to do that on this side too. And now it's starting to look slightly more realistic. So you can just keep doing that. And there you have your realistic hair. Let me just draw this with one last little. All right. And there you have it. My name is Alex Cecilia, and this is how you draw realistic hair in Illustrator. Thank you.